Hello everybody, welcome back to Archery Country YouTube channel. This is Big Wade as we are gonna explore some of our top choices for turkey killing broadheads. As unlike your big game broadheads where we really worry about penetration and huge wound channels, the only thing we wanna take from that in the turkey woods is huge wound channels. We don't wanna send that broadhead through the bird. We wanna stick it in and let it go to work. As we start out from Grim Reaper, a very sought after broadhead that's worked for a lot of us for many years is the Whitetail Special. This is a huge two inch over the top, meaning that the blades are gonna over extend and go down as you go into the bird. Nice chisel tip, so you get some great penetration to get in there and let it do its work. Uh, very, very sharp razor edged bone blades that are gonna do wreak havoc on any kind of bird that you shoot rather front or a broadside shot or reverse shot. As we move down the list, Rage Turkey Extreme. This has been another great broadhead for many of years that a little bit different profile as this is a slip cam design that you've noticed from Rage, but what they've incorporated on this broadhead is actually meat hooks. So when this, this enters the body cavity, it'll actually grab and stop from penetrating all the way through, which is gonna tear and lacerate and do a lot of damage and let the blades follow behind it. So I move down the list, another huge Opening broadhead is from G5 called the Mega Meat. This is another two inch cut, uh, stainless steel, super sharp blades. So when we have to cut through that feather and the matter and get in that body cavity, again, you're trying to hit a softball size vital area. So having two inches of play is gonna be pretty cool for you. This also comes with a practice broadhead. It flies very similar. A lot of our shots on turkeys are gonna be under that 25 yard range. So you really don't have to do a lot with tuning on there, but it's always a good idea to practice. And this does come with a practice broadhead. New to us is a product, the SK2 from Sick Broadheads where they actually, this is the only broadhead that's gonna have a flight control. So it's gonna be very compact and fly, it has a huge massive chisel tip. So it's gonna break any bone going on into it, wing bone or body cavity to set it in there. And then a very, very huge two blade system that depending on your spin of your arrow is gonna do a lot for you. And this is a hundred grain. All of these are gonna be hundred grain products. This is the SK2 rear deploy, and it's actually 3.62 inches of total cut once it's opened up. And last but not least, the four that we have already looked at are our shots that you are gonna use probably on a body shot. You can take a head shot with these, but they're, they're mainly on your body shot. Kind of a new phenomenon is the head chopper style. It's been around here for probably four or five years. And a new product from SWAT Broadheads is called the Chopper. And it's basically that. This is gonna be 180 grain, 3.5 cutting diameter, head chopper style broadhead. It has a nice little chisel point to get in there, to break that beak, to get through the skull and set up. But as fast as these arrows are going, with a longer arrow setup, you're not gonna have any problem. You're either a hero or a zero when it comes to head chopper, and that's kind of the unique thing. One thing that I will recommend on a head chopper style, especially these SWAT broadheads, is you're gonna run a full length arrow and then you can never go too stiff. So like for example, we have a RIP TKO 250 and we have a very, very large profile. This is a five inch feather with a massive helical to really help steer and control that. And again, you're gonna be taking some shots under 30 yards most of the time with a head chopper style broadhead. And the cool thing about each and every one of these broadheads is you get the opportunity, they're in all three of our locations. You can actually shoot them on our range and make sure that you're sighted in a 20 yard setup. They are available online as well. If you like the content that you're seeing, do me a huge favor and subscribe, like this, and then also ring the bell for notification. Thank you for watching Archer Country YouTube.